There's a rabbit in here. Do you guys, do you want me to bring you a rabbit and oh my God. Uh, go and you guys can taste them and tell the difference? You should be very ashamed of yourself in teaching your kids this. Because that is not how you're not my mama, ma'am. I mean, I you want me mama. and you to go outside right now? Should we go outside? And I'll tell you about what I teach my daughter. Deb and Marcy got in a fight, like an actual fight. Don't get your feelings hurt. Don't get your because the competition is so intense right now, the smallest thing can like set a mom off. They're like so fragile. Don't pull your daughter away from my daughter. I was messing with Jayliana saying, oh, you got the chicken pox because she's got three little bumps on her. You might be able to have I a little piece of something. Chicken pox, mommy. What? No, you don't. Don't even say you have the chicken box. Some of my family was sitting down and they were like, that lady's running around tossing the parents up in the seat saying Jeliana's got the chicken box. Marcy was yapping her blowhole around to everybody in the ballroom that Jay has chicken pox. <laughs> Jeliana and Kylia were playing in the dressing room together. And Marcy come in there and grab Kylia. Like my daughter's got some funky disease or something. That's when I got mad. Don't get hurt, bitch, when it comes to my kid. Know, Don't do that because I'll you up. Calm down, calm down, calm down. I know, I know. Every and she's lucky Kim people. pulled me back from her, Literally. or she'd have been on the ground. You're a grown-ass woman. If you want to talk you have to own up to it. Don't go crying to Cambry. What's Cambry going to do? She didn't think I saw her ass. I'll snatch that bitch up. So after this last pageant, I found out Kim has been telling people that she's planning on switching to Cambry's team, all the while telling me to my face that she was never planning on switching to Cambry's team. You guys, seriously, we really need to be realistic about this. I, it's about allowing outside influences to come in exactly. and mess with our Exactly, that's what I was just going to say, 100%. Family. And Kim herself said to me that she was feeling manipulated by Sheena and that Sheena was saying things in her ear and making her feel a certain way. Sheena used to be on my team. She switched to Cambry like two years ago. Thank you for coming. And for some reason, before the safari pageant, Sheena was at Kim's house with her, giving her advice on pageant things. I told Jamie that two weeks ago. I, she doesn't I, care. Sheena was saying, she switched teams from me because I was immature or I was a glorified babysitter. It was just all of this like negative patty bullshit. Amory works at this as a business and not as a hobby, where Jamie hasn't grown up yet. My team is mad at them because I give everybody a chance. And if they do me wrong, then it's like sayonara. She has plenty of teammates that were willing to help her and that did help her, but she still decided to seek help from Sheena, which when somebody's clearly like trying to turn you against your team is when you need to be like, wait, what's really going on, you know? like She royally screwed up because we are the power team in Arizona and she had it good with us. As far as I'm concerned, bye-bye, Felicia. Okay, so let's have everybody else go downstairs and then we'll stay up here, I guess. We hungry. Let's go downstairs and have some snacks. Yeah, there's snacks in the kitchen. You guys are gonna go eat. <laughs> Initially, I wasn't really wanting to come over because I kind of had a feeling that, you know, everybody was gonna get their claws out. But I was hoping to kind of like rebuild on the trust that was broken. Okay. I did have like thoughts about changing to the other team because I was feeling like isolated and like there was favorites being played and I didn't trust anybody. I didn't know what I was going to do. Like then I had Sheena like telling me like what her experience was. Which was probably all not true anyway. This is not even about her. I could care less about that. That's a whole nother issue that's neither here nor there. I don't give a shit about Sheena. And I don't really care who you get opinions from and advice from, but go to your team first. And Kim didn't. From day one, I've always told everyone, like, any sort of issue that you have, talk to me about it. I know it's pissing me off. Because I can't control what goes on if I don't know about it. And with the whole, like, you seeking advice from Sheena about outfits or whatever, like, at that point, I had no problem. Everybody is gossipy in here, okay? Like, everybody, like, tells everyone everything, and so I'm hearing all of this stuff. But that's the pageant world. Can I finish what I was saying, though? The problem is I didn't know if I could trust you. If I wanted to trust you, then, like, I guess that's kind of what my okay. thing is, is that I think you should she be. She her issues. She's talking about everybody in the team. Either she goes or I go.
Well, I'm gonna finish saying what I need to say, and we can talk later if you have a problem with me, but this is between Jamie and I. It doesn't matter who it's between. Actually, it's between the entire team It because... isn't between the team because you weren't there and you don't know what happened. You're right. So don't get in, in my face. Room. But if you're gonna sit there and have trashy mouth with our kids downstairs, okay, I will not have trashy mouth. Okay. I'm just saying that I feel attacked right wait, now. Wait, wait, wait. And all of them are hypocrites because if they were in my situation, none of you can say that. You would have done no, no, no. anything different. I, I was not gonna say anything, but don't you ever tell me that I would sit there and betray my team. How did I betray any of you? I said nothing bad about the team you and you about our coach. Know. And whenever somebody tries to mess with the sassy team, the claws come out and everybody gets their defensive hat on. And I love that because that's what a team is about. I have nothing to say. Like, you have the right to your opinion, and I'm not it's saying It's not that. an opinion. It's a fact. OK. We oh. chose to talk crap about Jamie. Had no, I didn't me. talk crap. I told Who her how I was Who was at your house feeling. the other day? Who was that? Gina was. Exactly. I did not talk crap about her. You I allowed honestly, her to. I was allowing allowed her to. I do she that to our team and our coach. Grow up. Be a big girl, put your damn big girl pants on, and grow. I am. I'm here, aren't I? I'm, I'm saying, her. yeah, because you right want to say what you have to say, but then nobody wants to listen. Nobody wants to hear you talk crap about our team. I don't care what you want. I'm not here for you. I'm glad that we switched to Cambry's team. Um, She's teaching Celise in a manner that she's going to be able to retain it, and she doesn't need somebody there to show her what to do. Like, right now, that might be difficult because it's a transition period. And I don't expect results overnight. It's going to take a little bit of time to, like, you know, get Celise to, like, adjust to, you know, the way that she does things versus the way that they were being done, you know, previously with Jamie. I'm just so done with the drama with the Sassy Supremes. Uh, there's like, a, someone else just cracked another part of the door though. Out there. Why are you peeking in here? How is this any of your business? It doesn't really matter why. I could listen to whatever I want. We're just making sure you're not talking about our coach, you know? I'm talking about you, actually. You're so worried about what I'm saying to her. I'm talking about you because you're the one getting in my face. What if anything that happens? I didn't to... say anything. Hey, wait. I, wait. No, I didn't say no. Anything about you today. Yeah. Except maybe the fact that you look like a hot mess half the day, but I didn't say about you. Because I got stuck at the airport. First of all, don't judge me. Second of all, anything that happens between Jamie and I is not your business. Oh, no, the fact that you talk about my coach is not my business. What did I that... say? How, were you there? Did you hear me say it? I don't it? have to. I, we were all there when you you admitted that you said that Jamie was I a piece of shit. I never No, no never, excuse me. No, I have, never once uh, said that Jamie let's, was a piece let's, of let's, You're stupid. You weren't even there. You don't know what happened. I'm stupid. Oh, How do you know what are, I do? Because we all know, Cam, we Before know Before I do this, are you guys done with me? Like okay. We don't know who you are. You're done with me? How do you know? Do you come to my house? Have you seen oh, my, how I, I work with her? You don't invest in her. I do invest in her. How do you know anything about me? Are you done? Because... Am I done what? With whatever... You're... <gasps> oh, okay. Hey. You're pregnant. You want to start? I don't care. Get don't the f*** out of my face. You... You have I am my sick water. of you. I didn't even do anything. Guys. Because you, you are being... my water out of yes, my hand. Yes, because I'm tired, tired of you running your mouth and you weren't there. You get out of my face. You're Guys, trashy. You're See, we just washed the trash out. Well, you better take it out. You guys need to relax. I'm a loose cannon right now, and it will knock the f out in her face. I don't care if I'm pregnant. Do you know how emotionally stressful this entire thing has been? She chooses right now to jump down my throat, and okay, she's look. jumping down my throat about stuff that she doesn't know anything about. Control your moms. <laughs> your oh, yes, I need to control them. You should probably tell your coach to control her moms, too. What? Because where is she? I don't want to have problems with you or any of them. Like, I just want nothing to do with but them. But the thing is, is you have to understand that my whole team invested in you when you joined my team, and they all helped you, so they're upset that you feel the way you felt about that our That is how I felt. Do I not have the right to my Yes, opinion? but they have a right, too, and that's the okay, only thing I've been so trying to tell you. Okay, so they don't need to continue to bully and me I don't tell think them that... to back off of me. I am not in the mood for this. I'm pregnant, I'm emotional. It has nothing to do whole, with the them. First, the first pageant in Louisiana, things were said about all of them. What did I say? What did I say about any No, just them. like, you feel like I played favorites or whatever. The, That's how I felt. Put yourself in their shoes. Like, they helped you with dresses, helped you with everything, and you still were like, 
not feeling the right way about our team. And you never because told me I about it. Because I didn't trust you. I felt well, that you had invested your time and your energy into those girls. But obviously, this pageant showed you you're not getting any more attention from Cambridge than you got from me. So you saying that you weren't getting enough attention from me is what pissed me off because I went out of my way to make sure I was there for you. I drove to your house to coach your girls. I felt that your time and energy was being invested more in the other girls, and I just wanted the same opportunity for mine as them. What were you going to do? Just wait until hit the fan? No, I wasn't. I was thinking about changing to Cambria. I had been talking to Sheena about that. I know. That. Talking to who? Sheena. Why not me? Because you I didn't trust me. you at the time. Well, you I... didn't trust the person you were actually paying? That's insane. Grow well, some balls. Tell me what you're feeling. I did, but it was hard at this first. This is going in circles. I'm tired. I'm going to get my kid. I'm done. Have fun. <laughs> so Kelly and her husband have these goats, and they pooped all over the dressing room. There's babies that are on the floor. We're all walking barefoot. Kids are practicing. What the hell? This is disgusting. This is like, disgusting. these are like $2,500 dresses, and they're being traced around in goat crap. <laughs> That's fabulous. No. No. If your goat poops, you go get some paper towels, and you clean it up. Feces throws me over the edge. I can't. I can't. Goat should be running around. That's disgusting. They're farming. Oh they pooped on our side of the room only. <laughs> she was like, knock yourself out. It's her goat. <laughs> Here's what I think about goat poop. First of all, brown, disgusting, disgusting yogurt. Wait. <gasps> I said yogurt. So who did you say is going first? Giovanna's going first. It's a lot of craziness with Cambry's team over Come on. I mean, it's pellets. Somebody can sweep that up. They can keep their circus on the other side of the ballroom because I don't give two about those crazy pageant moms. Um, your little friend goes uh -huh. all over the place. No, that was that rabbit. That was rabbit. But everybody's saying that. It wasn't ours. It was there before we ever got there. You need to grow up. You need to bend down. I don't care how far it is to the floor. You need to bend down. You need to go get a paper towel. I need to clean up the goat crap. It's nobody else's job in this room but yours. My animal did that on the floor. The whole Are you kidding me right now? I didn't see. I didn't see any of that. Yeah, they, there was a bigger rabbit. There's a rabbit in here. Do you guys? You want me to bring you a rabbit? And oh my god, uh, goat and you guys can taste them and tell the difference. Don't you even feel bad for them cleaning this up? I didn't say that I didn't feel bad. It's not my problem. I'm busy. Ma'am, there was no, rabbit down here before we ever came in here. There was no right. you rabbit animal. Hey, hey, you're, you're here. Out. You guys want to inspect it? This is go. This is go. <laughs> you're like, you know, super duper <laughs> inspector today. Why don't you go find out? The freaking idiot. <laughs> She's an idiot. <laughs> you do you know not what? say that. That that says a whole character of yourself. Exactly. Your mama told you she'd point like that. I don't know if you... Uh, yeah, my mama did sand. tell me the point. Let him without sin cast the first stone, and you just lost that battle, sweetheart. You should be very ashamed of yourself and teaching your kids this. Because that is not how you're you Ma'am, you're not my mama, ma'am. That I is true. You want me and you to go outside right now? Should we go outside? And I'll tell you about what I teach my daughter. So let's go out I here and talk about it. What you, teach your daughter. you don't know I anything. Okay, okay, I know what she But you're about to know. I'll tell you one thing, ma'am. You need to back off. No, you guys need to back off. You need to back off. Let's go. Stop Let's go. Up. We're all in our 40s. The fighting outside is going to solve anything, except for someone going to jail. Take the goat. Take the goat. Come on, uh-uh. Yeah, good you idea. Should be ashamed. <laughs> I'm ashamed that I had to sit in a room with such ignorance. I'm trying to walk away from the situation. Like 10 times I walk away from this, and 10 times one of those ass comes back. I'm like, don't you old bitches have something else to do? Bye. Bye, Felicia. Oh, really? Last time I saw you, you were in charge of nothing, bitch. You do not say that about people. What is wrong with you? You can say whatever he wants to say. 
he doesn't know what a true gentleman is. And Alessandra, honey, 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 these little ass here would like to see a Cinderella story. So can you pick up so that these butt can feel better about their life? No, 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 no. I'll help you. I'll help you pick it up. My kids don't care. They'll be happy to pick up We live on a farm, lady. Don't start and there won't be any. Why are you so lazy? Why? You cannot go to the bathroom and get a you paper towel. You know what? Towel. I got to get away from this lady. <laughs> I don't understand. You need to bend down. If you go get a paper towel, I need to clean up the goat crap. And if you can't do it, then maybe have your husband wipe some sweat off his face, and he can use his hands. I'm going to mask her some ignorant person That's why you're standing where you're standing. <laughs> Behind her big butt? Because that's ridiculous. Have you looked? Maybe you didn't look in the mirror, honey, but your ass isn't any smaller than mine. But then again, her camel toe was much larger than anybody's. <laughs> <laughs> you need to look in the mirror, sweetheart. You'll learn a lot. Listen. <laughs> Go with your daddy and take your animal back up there, OK? Go. Daddy's just trash. No, you're trash for making a little kid feel bad. You're trash. I didn't make a kid feel bad. You told your kid to clean up crap. My we live on a farm. We see it every day. We look at it every day right in front of her.